Hello everyone, and welcome to The Painting Paladin. My name is Justin, and today we are working on a fun new model. Now, if you are familiar with Marvel, you might have seen this character in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Or, if you're not a huge Marvel fan, then you might have also seen them in Fortnite's current battle pass. That's right, today we are painting Gwen Stacy, also known as Ghost Spider. Now this model comes from the Marvel Crisis Protocol line by Atomic Mass Games. Now when I first got one of these models, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it was a multi-part plastic kit and not a resin or pewter miniature. Also, they have an ever-growing line of characters that continues to encompass all of the Marvel Universe. So with that being said, let's head on over to the work desk and get started, shall we? Alright, now before we begin, I undercoated this model with Gracier Spray. Now the first color that we're going to be using is Ulfwan Gray. We're going to be painting this from the waist up. The next color that we're going to be using is the contrast paint, Apothecary White, and we're going to be applying this all over that area we just painted. All right, with that contrast paint dried, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be White Scar. Now we're going to be applying this as a dry brush all over the cloth there, and then we're also going to be layering it on the face mask and eyes. Now if you're not familiar with dry brushing, it's a technique where you load your paintbrush up with paint, wipe most of it off until only a little remains, and lightly brush it over the surface of the model, catching only the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses where the shade had settled. All right, with that white done, we can move on to our next colors. And the next one we're gonna be using is a bat in black. Now we're going to be following the chest there. You can see the lines that are raised around to the back, avoiding those two spots on the hip, and then working our way down the legs. Now in this spot, it's really helpful to use the box art or have a reference picture next to you so that you can see what exactly needs to be painted. Moving on, with that black done, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Dawnstone. Now we're going to be using this to paint the pavement and that little bit of rubble on the base. With that done, the next color that we're going to use is a bat in black again, and this time we're just going to paint the inside of the grate on the base. With that grate all painted up, the next color that we're going to be using is lead belcher. Now we're going to use this to paint the grate itself, as well as that steel beam that Gwen is standing on. All 
All right, the next color that we're going to be using is Agrax Earthshade to give the base an all over wash. Okay, so while the wash is still drying, I'm going to take a tissue and kind of wipe it a little bit on there to make the base look smudgy and less uniform. Okay. So with the base dried, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Pink Horror. Now, when using this, you're going to want to make sure that it's pretty runny so it flows smoothly. Now we're going to use this to paint around the eyes, the inside of the hood, inside of the little webs on the arms, and there's two little markings on her sides there. So use the box art to kind of find where the markings are. And as far as the webs go, with it real runny, all you need to do is just dab it into there. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, because we can always go back and clean it back up. All right. Now before we continue, I quickly wanted to note that after I had filled the pink in on the arms, I used white scar and dry brushed over the top of it just to make sure that the white webs would stand out. But with that being said, moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Gracier. Now I'm just using this to clean up the shoes because I had gotten a lot of different stuff on it. So with those shoes all touched up, the next and last color that we're going to be using is Baharoth Blue. And we're going to use that just to paint the shoes. All right, with that done, this model is all finished up. Now the only thing left to do is to paint around the base, so you can paint that whatever color you want. For me, I'm going to use a bad in black again. With this model all finished up, Gwen is ready to get back to fighting crime in the Spider-Verse. Now a few things to remember when working on this model. The first is, I had used both reference pictures and box art when painting this model. When painting something based on something, it's helpful to have these on hand so you know what color goes where and what color to use. Another thing is, as always, take your time to avoid making any mistakes. But, if you make a mistake, you can always go back to your previous colors and correct it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date with future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.